Introduction, Trilock 2.0-2.3 Rotation Correction Plate. I'm Ryan Rose from UT Health Science Center, San Antonio. Chapter 1, Landmarks and Approach. So today we are going to be doing the fourth metacarpal osteotomy using the correction plate. Our plan is to offset the deformity with either a pronation or supination of the distal fragment using the rotation plate. Here we're going to mark out our incision. We are going to use the plate to guide the length of our incision. We want to sh stop just short of the metacarpal head with our approach as well as our dissection. On the approach, you will see multiple veins and nerves. The goal is to protect those superficial cutaneous nerves while coagulating the veins as needed. On the specimen, you can see multiple slips of the EDC to the ring finger. We will approach this just by splitting between those multiple slips seen here. And here you can see we're coming down on the fourth metacarpal. We do not want to go distal to the metacarpal head or disrupt the sagittal band. We're going to elevate up periosteal flaps in order to protect and plan for our osteotomy with limited dissection of the dorsal interossei to preserve as much blood supply to the metacarpal. Important aspects of the plate. The oblong hole should be placed close to the metaphysis for osteotomy placement. The oblong hole has the ability to place the screw either more radial or more ulnar depending on the rotation that you're trying to correct. There's no need to fully tighten the screws at this point in the procedure and the low profile of the plate aids to minimize soft tissue irritation. After confirming the appropriate position being just proximal to the center of the metacarpal head, just short of the sagittal bands. We're next going to place our proximal screw fixation, place our oblong screw, and mark out our osteotomy site. After doing so, we will remove our plate and make our osteotomy, but having the pre-drilled screw positions will make it easier for the final fixation. Here you can see we are drilling our proximal screw. We will measure with the depth gauge. Here we measured an eight and we will use a gold screw for a cortical screw. The blue screws are locking screws. After placing our proximal screws, we now progress to our oblong correction hole. Here we will drill and place the screw on the ulnar border of the oblong hole in order to externally rotate this digit for internal rotation deformity. Now that the plate is placed in the appropriate position, you are going to use a marking pin or a bovi to designate your osteotomy site. You can see on the plate, there is a laser line to designate the osteotomy site. You will note that I try to keep the order of the screws in reverse order of placement, making it easier when you replace it after the osteotomy site. After removal of the plate, you will see I make a transverse osteotomy perpendicular to the metacarpal. While making your osteotomy, it is important to use irrigation in order to decrease thermal necrosis at the osteotomy site. Here you can see that our osteotomy site is complete and we have freedom of motion through that osteotomy.
Now we're going to place our plate in our previous location guided by the pre-drilled and pre-placed screws. As you replace the cortical screw in your correction oblong hole, it is important not to make it too tight, otherwise you will not be able to achieve the appropriate correction. Depending on the position in the oblong hole, you can achieve a variable amount of correction as needed. You can see with our imaging, there is excellent rotational correction with just a small amount of overlap on the radial distal border. Here you can see we are going for maximum correction. After achieving the appropriate correction, you can now tighten down the screws to maintain the rotation. Here clinically, you can see how 15 degrees of rotation built into the oblong hole can change the anatomic position. Chapter three, closure and post-operative protocol. After completing your fixation, I generally use 2.0 Vicryl to cover the plate with the periosteum. Then the skin is closed with 3.0 and 4.0 Monocryl. The patient is placed in a splint, brought back to clinic at one week and begins motion with the occupational therapist.